Hi, in this particular video we've been asked to write this uh, algebraic expression as a single fraction. Well, this is later on in the playlist, so if you're not sure about some of the principles I'm going to use here, please do have a look at some of the other videos before you have a go at this one, because this one is a little bit trickier because we've got this kind of x plus 2 and then x minus 4 at the bottom. So it just makes things a little bit more tricky. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write both of these fractions under the same denominator. And the denominator I'm going to choose is going to be the two denominators of the separate fractions multiplied together. So that's going to be x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 4. And then it's a case of working out, what have I multiplied x plus 2 by to get this at the bottom? Well, it's going to be x minus 4. So I would multiply the numerator by x minus 4. Okay, same with the other fraction. What have I multiplied this by to get to this? Well, it's actually x plus 2, so I'm going to multiply the numerator also by x plus 2. And then it's a case of really simplifying everything together and um, once you've done that, you should be able to gather up the like terms and simplify the fraction. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write both separate fractions under one denominator, which is x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 4. OK, and we're going to multiply that out in a few minutes. The top I'm going to multiply out straight away. So I've got 3 times x is 3x and then 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. Just be very careful about the negative numbers that you sometimes get with these sorts of calculations. And then I've got plus 2x, so plus 2x, and then plus 2 times plus 2 is plus 4. OK, so it's starting to look a little bit better because now I'm in a position where I can gather up the like terms and I can write the top as 3x plus 2x is 5x and then I've got minus 12 plus 4. So again, be careful of negatives, minus 12 plus 4 is minus 8 and that's divided by x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 4. OK, now you could really leave it there if you wanted to, but it is also very good practice to multiply out this denominator just to assure the examiner that you know what you're doing and that you're quite happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the top as 5x minus 8 and the bottom I'm going to multiply out. So x times x is x squared and then I've got x minus 4 is minus 4x, plus 2 times x is plus 2x, and then plus 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. And again, um, I would say if you're not sure about any of the things I'm doing here, please do have a look at some of the previous videos, otherwise this might be a little bit confusing to you. And you should be able to go back through the playlist and have a look at some of the earlier ones. OK, so I'm just going to tidy this up and this will be my final answer. 5x minus 8 on the top and on the bottom I'm going to have x squared. I've got minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x and then minus 8 at the end and that will be my final answer to this particular question. I hope that's been helpful to you. If you're not sure please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.